Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Disha Kakkar. Today we are going to see when to use simple past tense and when to use present perfect tense. Starting up with simple past tense. Simple past tense is a verb tense which is used to show a specific thing happened in a specific time period. For example, I finished my work yesterday. So the task happened or it got finished in particular time period or in a specific time mentioned. Simple past tense is frequently used to talk about your habits which you had before and normally or maybe it is used in a general forms. Well, there are regular verbs as well as irregular verbs. Regular verbs in the sense in which you are simply adding verb plus ed. That means talk then talked. But there are some irregular verbs. That means over there the past form of the verb is totally changed. For example, eat becomes at. You need to remember those words and it will eventually happen when you will have the habit of reading and writing in English. Simple past tense is associated with certain expressions as well. Number one, frequency. That means whether any of the tasks you used to do, you were doing it frequently, how often you used to do, it could be sometimes you were doing it. So that shows the frequency. For example, I sometimes walk home at lunch time or I often brought my lunch to school. Number two, it could be definite point. For example, last year, it could be last month, it could be last month, it could be last week or your childhood time, etc. For example, we watched a good film last night. Yesterday I arrived in Mumbai or she finished her work at 7 p.m. is an indefinite point. In the sense you aren't able to specify the time period. For example, it could be centuries ago, it could be ages ago, it could be long ago, etc. For example, people lived in caves long ago or she played piano when she was child. So we are not specifying at what age but she used to play piano when she was child. This was about simple past tense. Now let's understand present perfect tense. What do you mean by present perfect tense? Present perfect tense is a link between present and past. That means some task happened in the past and is going on even today then we are using present perfect tense. Normally we are using the past participle form of verb in present perfect tense. For example speak becomes spoken, go becomes gone, do becomes done, etc. So, in precise form, if I explain, then to create present perfect tense, we need to use to have plus the past participle of the verb. That means to have plus done or to have plus gone, etc. Here I am with bunch of examples for present perfect tense. For example, she has lived here for 10 years. She has lived here all her life or they have written three letters already. I have worked here since I graduated school. Situations where the present perfect tense can be used. So it can be used in following ways. Number one, to describe an action that is being repeated between the past and present. For example, we have gone to the beach many times. Or to describe an action that started in past and is still continuing in the future. Something like, I have lived in United States since 1990. That means you were there since 1990. Today also you are there and in future also you are going to stay in United States. Number three, to describe an action that has not yet been finished. For example, it has rained a lot this month. Number four, to describe an action that was completed in the recent past. For example, I have just finished my internship at the museum. So that shows that recently you just finished your internship. To, and last and last number five. To describe an action when the time was not an important aspect. For example, she has lost her wedding ring. So when someone is losing her wedding ring, then time is not important. The, Thing is very important.
So this is where you can use present perfect tense. So now let us know that when do we use present perfect tense and when do we use simple past tense? Well, first thing is present perfect tense is used when the actions are unfinished and in simple past tense we are using it when actions are finished. For example, in, sim for example, in present perfect tense, I have known Julie for 10 years. That means I still know her even today. But when we say in uh, simple past tense, I knew Julie. I knew Julie since 10. I knew Julie for 10 years. That means now I have lost the touch with Julie. But, but then somehow I lost the touch. So now I am not in contact with Julie anymore. So at that point of time, you can use simple past tense. A finished action in someone's life. The person is still alive, but the action is over. Then you can use sim then you can use present perfect tense. But when the action is over and the person is also no more, then you can use simple past tense. For example, my brother has been to Italy three times. That means her brother is that means her brother is still alive, but and he had been to Italy three times. My great grandmother went to Italy three times. That means now she is no more, no more, but she had been to Italy three times. Then comes number three, a finished action with the result in the present. You are having a result in front of you. At that time, you are using present perfect tense. For example, I have lost my keys, but now somehow I found it and I am able to go inside my house. Then you can use present perfect tense. But when do we use past tense? That means I lost my keys. So now I'm not having my keys with me and I will have to get the new one or I got the new one and uh, and was able to go in and was able to go inside my house. Then in present perfect tense, we have unfinished time. But in past tense, we are having finished time. That means unfinished time means uh, this week, this month or today, etc. But when we say finished time, that means last week, which, week, which is over or last month or yesterday means the day is over so at that time you can use simple past tense the example of present perfect tense is i have seen john this week and the example of simple the example of present perfect tense is i have seen john this week and the example of simple past tense is i saw john yesterday these were the difference between simple past and present perfect tense you need to remember some points like we use past simple for past events which have no which have no connection to the present second we use the present perfect for actions which started in the past and are still happening now or for finished actions to which have a connection to the present that means any task you are speaking any any sentence you are speaking it is having a connection with the present and the past. The thing which is still going on even today. Then you can use present perfect tense. And we cannot use the present perfect tense with a finished time. Well, so this was it about today's session. We learned simple past, present perfect tense. And also we learned when to use simple past and when to use present perfect tense. I hope this video was helpful to you. Give like, share it to your friends and subscribe the channel. Thank you so much.